Obadiah, Ovadjah, verse number 18, we read, The house of Yaakov shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, but the house of Esau for stubble. They shall burn among them, and they shall consume them, so that no survivor is left of the house of Esau. So we see that Yosef then is the answer for Esau. The question would be, what's the problem with Esau? Hi, this is Barry Phillips with 10 Minute Torah, day number two of the Torah portion of Yeshev, which means, and he dwelt. To find out what the problem with Esau is, who is also known as Edom from being red, we go to Psalms 137, verse number seven. Remember, O Yahweh, against the sons of Edom, or Esau, the day of Jerusalem, or Jerusalem, who said, lay it bare, lay it bare to its foundations. So this was accomplished in 70 CE, the common era, or AD, if you prefer, 70, the year 70, by the Roman general Titus and his second-in-command, Tiberius Julius Alexander. They actually destroyed the city of Jerusalem and destroyed the temple. Therefore, the rabbis make the connection that the Romans and Edom or Esau are vitally connected, that they are one and the same, if not by lineage, by spiritual connection. Remember that we said Esau yesterday represents professional religion, especially in the ranks of churchianity. This is stemming from the Roman system of professional pageantry, pomp, circumstance, and should we say religious influence in the earth. That's who Esau is. Further, we said that Levan uh, is the systemite pastor or leadership that would use up the talents and skills of others for their own furtherance of agenda or reputation or further accomplishment of their own desires. And so we go to Bereshit or Genesis chapter number 30 and verse 25. And it came to be when Rachel had born Yosef, the Yaakov said to Levan, the systemite pastor or leadership, send me on my way to go to my own place and to my own land. I am returning to my roots. I'm going home to my Hebrew identity. I'm done with furthering your own cause, agenda, and platform. I'm going back to what is real for me. So it's after Yosef the answer to Esau, the answer to that entire system is born and brought forth. He is the apparent heir, being the firstborn of the primary bride, Raquel. I know I'm laying a lot of details in here, but hang with me. There is a problem with Esau, and we're going to find out what that problem is. In chapter 37 of Bereshit, or Genesis, we began with verse number 2. This is the genealogy of Yaakov. Yosef, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers, and the young man was with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives, and Yosef brought an evil report of them to his father. Notice the change in identity here in verse 3. I'm not talking about Yaakov, the father. We're talking about Israel, the prophet, the man of the spirit. Israel loved Yosef more than all of his children because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a long robe, a robe of significance. Verse 4, but when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and were not able to speak peaceably to him. Ah, we have a problem. And the problem is connected to Esau. Let's talk about how. You see, 
Esau is being identified in the prophet Elijah or Obadiah as stubble or what we might would call straw. Remember and recall that in Egypt, in Mitzrayim, Israel was assigned to build the temples, the city structures of Pharaoh and that entire world system out of straw. Go use Esau to build my world view. Esau, the professional church in many countries, in America in particular, has been utilized in its claims and its agendas to build this nation, so-called nation, based on Judeo-Christian concepts. There are many still within the structures, the confines of that Esau professional system using their agenda to build back a better America. Yah is calling us home. Now, while we pray for this nation, while we pray for its people, we are here and we're going to be here until he takes us home. We should never lose view of home. Home where our patriarchs walked. Bethel, the house of Elohim, rebuilding the land. The problem is... Yosef. Yosef is the answer to Esau. That is you and I becoming acquainted with that Yosef, house of Yosef identity, that we are a part of Am Israel. Once we have done that, Yah starts calling us out of the Esau system. But there is another problem. You see, the brothers of, e of Yosef could not bear him in that it would seem like the generational process of one son out of all of the sons being taken to receive the, the generational promise of the promise of the land and the lineage of the seed. At some point, it's got to stop being handed down to one person and be given to the family. And it would seem that they have identified we are that family. We're not just one or two sons. We're 12. And the nation begins with us. We cannot allow our father to choose one of us and then do what's been done before us, bless all of the other sons and send them away. No, we're Israel and we're going to be the family. And Joseph seems to be the antithesis of that. It seems like he's going to stand out. He's going to be the elder son preferred by the father. Remember Esau, Yitzhak preferred the elder son. So they were seeing Yosef as Esau. That's still the problem today. Yosef is still found in the identities of Esau the professional religious system. Even though we may come out and start doing feast days and keeping Shabbat and changing our diet and changing our calendar and changing our terms, there is still that, that professional ranks within us at times where we're looking for credibility. We're looking for affirmation and acceptance. Uh, we, we don't want to be, but so unique. But let me tell you, Yah, our Father, is placing upon us his robe of significance. And he's calling us to step into the role of family leadership. It may be that many of your family members have uh, retreated from you or argued with you or been confused by you. Don't, don't lessen your stance. Don't get obnoxious. Don't get arrogant. But walk with a pure heart. Let the Father sow into you, as he did into the original Yosef, dreams and visions of how things are going to go. Stay true to that. Wear that robe of significance, not with a condescending, self-grandizing attitude that Yosef seems to have employed at the first we're all going to have to go through a process of brokenness and learning humility. But the goal is to restore and regather the family. That's what Yah is going to use us for. So let's leave Esau, come out of the professional ranks, 
come away from the grandeur and the splendor of professional productions. Let's employ a simplistic heart. Wear the Father's gift of a robe. Wear it with humility, with a servant's heart. And pray for the regathering of the family. More tomorrow. To then, shalom. 